Hong Kong is facing a rather morbid problem where to put its citizens' ashes when they pass away. The Sinmin News says the city simply doesn't have enough space for everyone's remains. More burial sites are being built, but the government says it won't be enough to keep up with the demand. It is estimated that more than 400,000 burial spots will be needed in Hong Kong in the next 10 years, but just 150,000 new places are being planned. Now the government is urging people to dispose of their loved ones' ashes at sea or in gardens. Some local officials have even promised to set an example by disposing of their own remains at sea when they pass away. A TV producer who struck sex deals with teenage twins and other girls seeking acting roles has been sentenced to 10 years in prison after a Beijing court found him guilty of organizing prostitution. China Daily reports that Hu Wei Tong, a 49-year-old from Henan province, had coerced the Beijing twins to have sex with him, his assistants and wealthy clients before the twins legally became adults at age 18. On their blog, the twins claim Hu had set them up with men and posted picture stories. An investigation into Hu was begun and he was later arrested. Hu appeared unrepentant after this sentencing, saying the girls were commodities and that sex with investors and directors was inevitable. Shanghai taxis are being upgraded with a new dispatch system that allows English-speaking interpreters to talk to passengers at the touch of a button. The Shanghai Daily reports that the system is being put in place to make communication easier for foreign visitors ahead of the 2010 World Expo. The system will also automatically call back a customer who books a taxi with an estimated time of arrival. Shanghai's nearly 100,000 taxi drivers have been told to dress to impress for the six-month expo. Expo next year, they will wear uniforms of blue suits, white shirts, and blue ties. In a surreal union, a dwarf pop singer and a woman who shot to internet fame after posting nude photos of herself online may soon be married. The four foot singing dwarf and part time MC Chiu Yu Pei, whose showbiz name is Bei Bei, posted a wife wanted ad online earlier this month. And it wasn't long before he got a response from Pen Chun Ping, a 21-year-old who caused a stir earlier this year by posting her naked pics online in a bizarre attempt to track down her long-lost mother. Peng told the Information Times she had fallen head over heels in love with the diminutive singer and wants his hand in marriage. Bei Bei's agent has said the MC is currently considering the offer. The southern city of Hangzhou has come up with a hair-raising scheme to promote its most famous sites. The Xinmin News says hairstylists in the city were commissioned to carve 10 famous sites onto models' heads to promote the Hangzhou Expo, which kicks off later this month. The Peaks and the Pagoda hairstyles are replicas of sites that can be seen at the city's famous West Lake. China's ambition to build a blue water navy has led to the need for naval air power. And for years, there have been rumors of a Chinese aircraft carrier. The China Smack website says several purchases involving foreign ships only resulted in the creation of military theme park. But now it has been discovered that a structure made to look like the Soviet aircraft carrier Varyag is being built in Wuhan. The website says that the oddly shaped building has sparked a flood of speculation that it could be a training platform for the future carrier force. China's Smack attempts to dampen the speculation by saying it's more likely the building will be turned into a tourist attraction. The Yangtze Evening News reports on the case of a white-collar worker in Changshu province who has been turning heads on his way to work. Mr. Xu has taken an unusual approach to commuting by riding a horse to work every day. It all started earlier this month when he decided to ride the horse to a relative's wedding ceremony. His antics cost such a stir, Xu decided it would be fun to ride his four-legged friend to work. Local police have said there is no rule forbidding citizens from riding horses on the road, but they have urged others not to follow in Chu's footsteps or hoof prints for safety reasons. And finally, this 91-year-old performer has been wowing the crowds in the city of Wuhan in Hubei province. Xiao Qinglian stunned passersby when he put both legs over his shoulders while picking up a coin from the ground with his mouth. The athletic retiree told Xinhua News Agency that his incredible flexibility comes from 27 years of training. And that's today's Media Watch. And in fact, that's all for now from the team here at BON News.